Now what I'm getting ready to do is go ahead and take off for the, take off these vents. They have two flat head screws on each side. So there's one there and there's one down here. I'm going to take both of these off. I'm going to take a broom and uh you know, just get any loose debris or any cobwebs that may or may not be on the ceiling off as well. And I'm going to take these plates off. There's Philip uh flathead screw drive, flathead screws on these plates as well for the uh existing lighting. Take that plate off there and I'm going to take that light out in the surrounding bezel um, and put in or install the two or uh, install the uh, LED lights. Okay, so there's one there, one there, one there, and one there. It's also a fifth one here, but I'm going to go ahead and leave that one on for right now because they only come forward to a box. It's that crack that I was telling you about earlier where they don't have anything above it tying in the crown mode into, say, the ceiling joist. So um, I'm going to go ahead and fix that. Not today, but another day on another video. But this light here i'll keep there i'll take that wall the, the actual plate off but i'll keep the light there itself and uh start um uh, start priming the walls walls and ceiling because this brown has to go All right, what we have, fast forward to the next day. I've taken off the vents. I've pulled down the lighting. Um, they had some wiring ran for speakers for the living room as well. Took the plates off of the ceiling for those items as well. Um, had a, a mount for the TV. Went ahead and patched a few holes here and there. So those items, uh, that area is pretty much the sheetrock compound areas that have been, um, I went over with sheetrock compound. And then here is where I uh, had a hole for, here, had a hole for um, fire alarm hookup, direct wiring hooked up for, for the previous alarm system that was in here. So I went ahead and placed the drywall mud along there, right? So that where it's still like a darker color is where it's drying, obviously. So that square-like shape is the perimeter of the actual sheetrock itself. So it's still dry. But I'm going to go ahead and get ready to start priming these walls up in here and getting it together. But as you can see, I've mudded it. And any imperfections that I have to correct, I'll do it after this initial um, application of primer along the walls. Put my wife's shoes up there, you know. But even took down the ceiling fan as well. Sit right there. Gotta get it out of here. So, so it's more of the before. And I'm not gonna paint the entire, I'm, just gonna, I'm literally just gonna paint that, that entire area. Um, I'm gonna stop along this wall here where my finger is. See my finger going up and down right there on the right side. Going to stop there and uh, paint the entire ceiling, prime the entire ceiling. This left wall here, wall straight ahead, wall to the right, and going into that opening over there. Paint all of that, or prime all of that, knock that out, and uh, go from there. <laughs> 